dark, so I don't think my phone is going to focus properly. I'm just waiting for this class to start. I moved out completely yesterday. That was so emotional for me. I was like crying for the last like two days. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna miss the vibes there. Feeling a little better about it. I know bigger things are coming. It's just like, still hurts. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to miss my landlord and I know no one's ever said that. Nobody, literally no one said that ever. I don't think so. Okay, so that's class starts in five minutes. I'll see you when I see you. fun i didn't think it was gonna be as intense on my body as it was but it was actually harder than it looks it had so much to do with balance and like a lot of calisthenics i feel i am starving i'm gonna go to whole foods and see what they got i've been eating so well oh, i'm so proud of myself Really fucking awful. I'm eating the brownies that I bought. These vegan brownies from Whole Foods. Mm, really good. Mm. Everything's closing in 30 minutes. You know this bump is so dumb. Like, what the fuck? So cute. God, I left my phone at the register. <laughs> my awful trait is that I just bring my phone and rely on afterpay, and then I forget my phone when I'm like doing something else. Like I was bagging my own groceries. <gasps> wow, this fucking idiot. I'm gonna make a quick Target run because my mom asked for potatoes and lotion. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get the lotion over there. I'm <sighs> so out of breath. I literally ran back to the store look for my phone there was also a lady who found my phone and like gave it to the guy at the register still really really forgetful of me and very on brand so kind of upset about that oh this body wash smells so good i only know that because my roommate uses it well they're not my roommate anymore my old roommate this is the best body lotion i've ever used i like when the lights turn on and the out when you like arrive there i feel welcome <laughs> my car. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, <laughs> it's time to get real food in my system. Are you gonna go? They did. Okay, I'm at home and I'm way too tired to even eat a real meal. 
Oh my gosh, I'm just so tired. I don't even know what time my class is tomorrow. 6.15. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Alright guys, good night. I will see you tomorrow at the yoga studio. It's so foggy. Holy shit, it is so foggy this morning. That was actually a really intense yoga class, even though it was like pretty gentle. Maybe I'm just out of shape. Every time I cope with being sad, it's usually through working out excessively. I mean, back in New Jersey, like at least I can, you know, have that little suburban moment where I can just drive to my workout class. It's so foggy. I kind of fucking love this. It looks so eerie. The camera doesn't even do justice. Look at it. It is so foggy. I live for this. New York is over there, but you can't see it. How crazy is that? Oh my god. <laughs> I look like a like an aunt. <laughs> so cold. This is how I brought my matcha. I'm the worst and all of these are dirty. Probably still have a beverage in it. I'm shaking. Oh my god. I still feel like I have to throw up, to be honest. Jesus. I really need like a minute. Okay. Dude, I feel, feel like I'm gonna throw up. Fuck. What if I drive and then I throw up on my steering wheel? I like, can't do that. What? So I got really stoned to go into the mall right now. I love being in New Jersey because I love this mall. I forgot about how like out of pocket the fucking signs and the highways are. The sign said, driving distracted? Forget about it. <laughs> That is the most New Jersey fucking thing I've ever seen. Whoever like runs the signs around New Jersey, whoever comes up with what to say, they're on fire. <laughs> I have never looked at those signs this much once. I forgot how cute this Forever 21 is. We're back in my car. Anyway, I got some really cute things. Ended up buying these shorts and this tank top. They looked really cute together. The occasion that I was shopping for originally is a wake. This is not for that. I'm also going to Florida for a wedding next week, so it's for that. And it's at Disney World, which is super duper cool. Never in my life did I think I was going to go to a wedding at Disney. Like when I knew people going to weddings, that was not a place I even thought you could have that. And I also bought just like black bootcut pants from Free People because it was on sale. I'm pretty sure they're jeans, but they are so black right now that they kind of look like slacks when I tried them on. And if they start to fade later on, I'm just gonna re-dye my clothing, my black clothing black, just to give that color back. I was going to get my eyebrows done, but no one answered. And I called and I called called like, like three different times to see, I don't know, whatever. I don't think there's anything else I have to do, right? I feel like I do. What a fucking 
fucking throwback. That was so I honest. found out I was pregnant and I didn't know what to do. Oh. I was looking for a heart. Adoptions from the heart. New Jersey ads are so fucking annoying. <laughs> have people treats at this veterinarian pretty cute i haven't seen dum-dums in years these are the flavors that i got the people who saw me freak out about this actually parked right next to me so now i'm really embarrassed and i have to eat one <laughs> there was someone literally honking at me the whole time and they happen to be going the same way as me they like keep running red lights too like it's kind of annoying i don't know if you can even see it but it's literally the car behind me driving in new jersey makes me so angry and like it's it's even more funny when you see someone do some asshole shit to you and their car is also fucking busted and like they've almost like rear-ended me a couple times too yo like the person was trying to cross and they just honked at them what the fuck is their issue they're not even paying attention and then reach up to me and then get upset that i'm not going faster like bitch you weren't even fucking going period driving in new jersey is the fucking worst the people make you so angry forgot what it was like really just so weird like i literally am following the laws the same way you would in california because people actually stop at a stop sign there it's like it's not a suggestion <laughs> they all know the right way to drive on a, at a stop sign stop it's not the case here ah holy fuck oh i gotta go i just got a car tripod finally what a fucking dick i'm on the way to work out right now it's pretty fucking cool to a bar class. I've never ever done bar. Finally figured it out how to set this shit up. Woo! Finished that bar class and I thought I was gonna die for real. I've never done a bar class and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. It was just like not the type of workout that I like. It wasn't bad, it was actually like I'm probably gonna wake up sore for the next seven days. Hey! I gotta go to work now. Let's see what time my coworker is going. Because we're gonna go to a wake together, which is not the most ideal hangout with my coworkers, but I mean, it is what it is. Ooh, that sun. Oh, my fucking body hurts. I've never felt my abs burn like that. Oh, and that was sunny as shit. Oh. Okay, I think I got here first, so see ya, bitches. New Jersey driving mentality is like a tweet that I saw. It was like New Jersey drivers would much rather have you collide into their car than let you merge into the lane. And that is so fucking true. Hey, Um, I'm super duper high off of it. I really have been on an, a random tea break and just because like I have a lot going on right now <laughs> broke my like two-day tea break <laughs> Yo, I forgot how strong these were. <laughs> I have like crazy cotton mouth right now <laughs> I found a vegan version of these and I already tasted the lid it's Pretty good. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good.